Hi and welcome to the channel where I will be covering lot of topics on how to learn Visual Basic programming from scratch. In the last video on how to adjust macro security level in Excel 365, I mentioned trusted location. A trusted location is something which you or Excel considers safe. Any file in this location will not get checked by the trust center. It simply bypasses that. In this video, I will be covering what is a trusted location. How do I access the trusted location setting? And how do I add, modify, delete folders to a trusted location tab? I will also share with you what exactly happens when you add files to the trusted location folder. Trusted location settings can be accessed in the Trust Center dialog box. As shown in my previous videos, you can access the Trust Center dialog box either from Excel Options dialog box or directly from the ribbon. If you are unsure how to do that, then see the video How to Enable the Developer tab in Excel for Windows. There, I share three different ways to access the Excel Options and Trust Center dialog box. For this video, we will use the shortcut key Alt-F-T. When you press the shortcut key Alt-F-T, you are presented with the Excel Options dialog box. Click on the Trust Center tab, which is right at the bottom, and then click on Trust Center settings to launch the Trust Center dialog box. Click on the second tab called Trusted Locations. This section lists all the folders or parts which are considered safe and any files in these folders will be considered safe by Microsoft Excel. By default, you will see many folders here which Microsoft Excel considers safe. You have one folder for add-ins, one for office startup, user startup, templates, etc. You can add files to any of these folders or you can create your own folder. But a word of caution, if you are adding your own folder, then ensure that you do not directly download macro files from the web or copy from pen drive into this folder. Whatever files that you put in this folder, check it thoroughly and ensure that the macro is clean, that there is no malicious code. I usually prefer to use a folder which is on a second partition of my hard drive. If you do not have any partition or if you are in a corporate environment where you have restricted access to folders, then create a folder where you have been given access. For demonstration purpose, I will create a folder on my desktop and I will call it safe folder. So let me launch the file explorer. On the desktop, I create a new folder which is safe folder. Let's get back to Excel. We will use that folder shortly. Now let's check out other options on this screen. Even though you have an option to trust locations on the network by checking the box allow trusted locations on my network, I would recommend not to do it. You never know how many people might have access to that location. If it is a corporate requirement to use that folder, then copy the file from the network folder to a local folder and then try to open it. In most cases, in a corporate environment, you already have macro settings set to disable VBA macros with notification. This way, when you open the file from a local folder, you will get a notification that macros are disabled. You can then Open the module and check if it contains any malicious code. I've spoken about Excel macro security in my previous video, which is how to adjust the macro security level in Excel 365. If you're not aware how to adjust the security levels, then I highly recommend watching that video. Now, the next setting is disable all trusted locations. If you do not want to enable all trusted locations, then simply click on the checkbox. This option may be disabled if you are working in a corporate environment. 
Now let's add our own trusted location. We will add the folder that we created earlier. We will also add a macro file to that folder to see if it bypasses the trust center security. So I'll say add new location. I'll browse to desktop and then I select save folder and I say OK. Here you can also change the setting to trust the subfolders. I usually have this checked because I create a lot of applications for different clients and I arrange them in a specific folder for easy access. I leave that decision with you whether you want to check this or not. Below this checkbox is a description. It's good to add a description whenever you are adding a folder to the trusted location. So for example, I can say location for my personal macro files and then you click on OK. You will see the folder has been added here with a small description and the date created or modified. So we saw how we can add a new location. Now let's try and remove this using the remove button. To remove a location, select the location. So it's already selected and then click on remove. A word of caution before I click on this button. When you click on remove, Excel will not ask you for a confirmation. It will simply remove the location. This is something I'm not very happy about. I expect Excel to at least prompt me if I'm sure whether I want to remove the folder or not. Now, will this physically delete the folder? No, it will not. And you can always add it back by clicking on add new location. But in case of Excel's default folders, if you do not remember that location and you deleted that folder by mistake, you'll not be able to add it because you don't know the location. You will have to search internet to find out what was that folder. So for example, if I click on this and I delete this, I may not remember that this is the correct path. So be very careful when you click on the remove button. So to remove it, I'm going to select the save folder and click on remove and it's gone. Before I explain the next button modify, let's quickly add that folder back. And let's click on subfolders of this location are also trusted and let's give a short description personal folder for macro files and then I say okay now let's come to the modify button the modify button simply lets you modify the location details so I'm going to click on the folder and I click on modify this dialog box is the same as the one which you get when you click on the add location button. The only difference is that if you have checked the box, subfolders of this location are also trusted while adding that location, then this will also display in this modify dialog box. Obviously, you can uncheck it and save the setting by clicking on OK. So I can say personal folder for macro files. And let's say this folder belongs to Sid and I say okay so the description has been now saved here okay so if you look here or even here if you look at the description it says personal folder for macro files this folder belongs to Sid so modify using the modify button you can modify those details now what happens when we add files to this folder? So I'm going to say OK. OK, and we are here. Let's quickly create a macro. So I'm going to quickly create a macro. Don't get too much into this. I will be covering this later. I am going to use a workbook open code and I will just show you a simple message box. Hello world. And I will run this when the workbook opens. So I'm going to close this and I will save this file as 
desktop browse save folder or rather I will put it outside the save folder and then later on I will move it into the save folder so I will call it macro test and I save it as Excel macro enabled workbook and I save it so right now my setting is disable VBA macros with notification okay so I say okay I close the file and I double click on macro test XLSM and it says macros have been disabled enable content if I enable content my macro runs and I see the hello world dialog box so I'm going to close this now I'm going to move this file inside the save folder in the beginning of this video I mentioned that any file which is in this location will not get checked by the trust center which means it will bypass a trust center check and it will run the macro and since we have already added this folder to the trusted location when I run this file the macro will instantly run now let's double click on it to check whether the macro runs or not and we get the hello world message box so what exactly happened here? I did not see the yellow notification bar. And that's obvious because I have already told Excel the save folder is a trusted folder. And any macro from here, you can run it without any issues. And hence, the trust center did not check that file. Be careful when you're adding folders to the trusted location. Do not add folders like my documents, download, temporary internet folder, temp folders as trusted locations because these folders are prone to malicious code. I created a folder on the desktop, but don't do that. This was only for demonstration purpose. Keep it at a safe location. It could be on a second drive, like I said, or probably a folder inside a folder. Again, if you're in a corporate environment, I leave that decision to you. You decide which is the safe location for your macro files. Files in trusted locations bypass file validation, active content check and protected view. And hence modify the settings only if you are 100% sure of whatever you're doing. If you're not careful, then your PC will be prone to malicious code. This brings us to the end of this video. I hope I answered questions like, what is a trusted location? How do I access the trusted location tab? How do I add, modify or remove a folder in trusted location? And what happens to files when they are added to a trusted location? But if you still have any questions, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below, or you can also mail me on support at tamexcel.com. Just a quick reminder, I will be posting two videos in a week, one on Monday and the other on Thursday. If you like the way I explain things and if you think I can help you in your quest to learn Visual Basic Programming from scratch, then go ahead and support this channel by liking the videos and subscribing to this channel by clicking on the bell icon. And I will see you on Thursday when I speak about Visual Basic Editor and Introduction.